Hello and welcome friends. It is another Monday and of course I will present to you another Vaccaro product. And uh, for today I will choose this one over here. And um, you can see it is a beautiful, beautiful metallic piece. It comes in uh, this interesting color. It's like a red brown color quite quite nice and it has some interesting gold trims first when i look at the of it it reminds me of uh, waterman export model one it certainly has uh, its uh, traits from that fountain pen i will leave a picture with that fountain pen on the screen and i will also leave a link to its review and you can tell me if it is similar with that that fountain pen in terms of design elements and speaking of design elements i'm thinking about the ending of the cap the um, way the clip is uh, split in half right here and other other traits also the ending of the barrel you can see made in uh, china it has some flaws already the paint has chipped away right over here guys i hope you can see let me try to zoom on it yes you can see some chip there so but other than that problem it seems to be in quite a good good condition the cap is pressure fit again we have that white plastic part we are familiar in uh, this type of fountain pens and uh, if we unscrew the barrel we can see that it can uh, hold cartridges or ink converters again a small problem that i mind is the fact that it made this out of plastic and this is a metal this is good at the barrel but it this gripping part i prefer to see the grip part also made out of metal to be more durable and resistant in time you can see the same iridium point germany nib it is a steel nib i believe it was gold plated but the gold plating has faded away and the same ring here also gold plated another design element that i mind because in time in contact in with the ink this plating will fade away it is an interesting interesting piece a quite uh, resistant and durable piece this time it mimics the design of the water monster will probably won't have the vaccaro branding on it so although i will say it's a vaccaro product i don't have vaccaro branding anywhere on it probably because it resembles so much the water model i will leave its dimensions on the screen guys and then we will do the writing sample and uh, for the writing sample i hope you don't mind i will use some ink some uh, faber castell red ink rot ink but i will just dip the fountain pen in that ink before i will do the writing sample i must tell you that i bought this second hand and i paid for it 50 lays or the equivalent of 10.14 euros or 10.66 american dollars and now with no further delays i will remove uh, this box with uh, vaccaro pens out of the screen and i will put this uh, i will place this notepad right over here guys let me zoom on the notepad because i want you to see better the writing sample so i will use the faber castell red ink I will give it a little shake and I will simply dip this fountain pen in ink. Why I am dipping the fountain pen in ink and uh, I'm not using an international size ink cartridge because I want to give uh, this particular pen to a student 
and um, I think he or she will appreciate this uh, almost unused it has some signs of wear and tear but I will give this as a present so I think I should let me see if it posts and of course it posts because it has that plastic part over there and uh, by the way guys I will use it posted but before I will continue my writing sample let me change the angle of the camera guys because um, for me it is quite hard to do the writing sample in this angle now is uh, good guys I love uh, this angle so what do we have here we have a uh, Vaccaro fountain pen this uh, we will call the so-called waterman waterman expert one model and uh, i'm calling this waterman expert one because it has some similar design traits with the waterman expert one model this is a fountain pen made in china it has a steel nib gold plated and judging by the way it writes we have an M for a medium nib medium nib what can I tell you about this nib guys let me check if we have some flex to it and as you can see no flex it seems to be a juicy juicy nib and I will show it to you so quite juicy and uh, usable being a juicy nib it should do also do the signatures quite well and yes of course and now let's check if we have some line variants so right here no pressure guys and here I start applying pressure so you can see a little a little line variance depending on the pressure you put on the nib okay and now let's just test if we can reverse right with it so reverse writing and you can see definitely a possibility it doesn't lose its in ink flow and it doesn't scratch it and in reverse writing it writes like an f in comparison with the M um, it usually writes now let me tell you about the Fox guys so the quick brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog so as you can see guys it writes quite quite well i'm quite pleased with uh, this uh, fountain pen although it is a replica of a well-known waterman product i think it's quite quite cool again i did not pay a lot sum of money i paid around 10 euros or 10 american dollars my advice to you if you find this and uh, it is in this shape you can buy it of course in time it will develop somewhere and tear as you can see right over here but i think it is a good good choice if you want um heavy worker um, bear in mind this is a metallic fountain pen so it will stand the test of time and i know for sure that you can find replacement nibs in case that this nib uh, gets damaged so the, this was my review i hope you've enjoyed it I will see you next Monday with another model from uh, the Vaccaro lot I acquired. Till then guys, have a wonderful day wherever you are. And God bless you all my friends. Bye bye.